What's up guys and welcome to One Take. I'm Gil and tonight I just wanted to talk briefly about some more casting news for the Batman. I mentioned in my last Batman video how excited I was almost less about the recent announcements and the fact that we're starting to get announcements because I figured it would be like a snowball rolling downhill with more and more announcements coming and it looks like that's the case. The latest that we heard today from Deadline is that Colin Farrell is in talks or actually Colin Farrell has been cast in the Batman as the Penguin. This is super interesting casting because number one, the Penguin typically is portrayed as kind of short, stocky, deformed, all words that I wouldn't use to describe Colin Farrell. So I wonder if they're going to use prosthetics to somehow transform him. Will he undergo a Christian Bale-like transformation to gain a bunch of weight? Maybe they'll use um, depth perception like they did in The Hobbit to make him seem shorter. Now, I don't really think they're going to do any of that, but I want to say that having the Penguin as a villain in this movie is pretty cool because we haven't really seen a version of Batman recently that leans into the fantastical elements that we see in Batman comics. We had the Tim Burton Batman, where in Batman Returns, we saw Danny DeVito as the Penguin, and it had all those fantastical elements I alluded to. He had his army of penguins, he had his high-tech umbrellas, and then we went the other way, right? We had the Christopher Nolan Batman movies where it was super dark, super gritty. Everything was very grounded. It seems like Matt Reeves, I get the feeling he's going for something in between. We're going to have a more grounded take. He mentioned he wants to lean heavily into the noir aspect that you typically see with Batman. So I anticipate a pretty serious tone. So it's really interesting to wonder what Penguin looks like in what sounds like it could be a pretty Nolan-esque universe. Will we see the high-tech umbrellas? Will we see an army of penguins that Robert Pattinson will have to face off against? Also, just about every article which mentions this casting alludes to the fact that it's pretty much a widely known not quite secret element of the plot that the Penguin is not the only villain in this movie. The Deadline article makes reference to a trio of villains. But I suspect that Penguin will be the primary villain and he'll take on a sort of leadership role with whatever other villains are in this movie. One of the interesting aspects of the Penguin in the Batman mythos is that when you look at Batman's villains, like the Joker, all of them have some element of insanity. They're totally unhinged in some way. Penguin actually has a reputation of being Batman's really only sane character. He's totally in control of his actions. Because of that aspect of his character, I strongly suspect that if there really is a trio of villains, Penguin will be the one calling the shots. He'll be the one in charge, almost like a, a mob boss of sorts. Anyway, I continue to be excited for this movie and just super curious to see what kind of tone we end up with. Like I said, I'm expecting something dark and gritty in the, in the same vein as we saw with Christopher Nolan, but with the fact that Penguin is going to be the primary villain, I... I suspect it's going to be somewhere in between. It's going to be dark like Christopher Nolan, but maybe bring in some of those fantastical elements that we really haven't seen in a live-action Batman movie since the Tim Burton days. I also want to say that sometimes when you see a movie in production, you get the feeling that the people behind this movie, they've decided this is going to be a good movie. We're not going to let this be a bad movie. And with the casting we've gotten so far, Colin Farrell being the latest, but we recently had Paul Dano as the Riddler, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, and Robert Pattinson as Batman, all of those choices tell me they are looking for strong actors who will be able to deliver a great movie. Now, a lot of you out there might be skeptical of Robert Pattinson because you think of him as the Twilight guy. 
but he actually has shown great range as an actor, most recently with a movie called The White House. I haven't actually seen this movie yet, but just watch the trailer for that, and you'll walk away and say, okay, Robert Pattinson is a serious actor who is willing to do the low-budget art house movies. He cares about the craft. I should also mention there was also a report today that Andy Serkis is in talks to play Alfred. Typically, we see Andy Serkis as a CGI motion capture character like Caesar in the Planet of the Apes movies, a couple of which Matt Reeves directed, or Gollum in the Lord of the Rings movies. Here, we have to assume that Alfred will be one of his live-action roles and not some bizarre CGI creation, but that is just more really solid casting. So I continue to be excited for this movie. I'm expecting more casting announcements in the near future, and more exciting to me than casting announcements is I want to see some of the story elements. I can't wait to see some pictures. What's the new Batman outfit going to look like? What is the tone of this movie going to be? Can't wait to find out, and I have a feeling we're going to get answers to some of these questions soon. And you can be sure I'll be here to talk about them. Anyway, what do you think about all this? Do you think the Penguin is going to be a good villain for this movie? How do you feel about the casting of Colin Farrell? Not really someone you'd typically see, or someone you'd typically think of when you think Penguin. Anyway, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the little bell icon to make sure you get notifications whenever we release more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.